So let us discuss the question number one from the geography section. There were three statements given. Factual question. Statement one says that the Jhelum River passes through the Wooler Lake. Now this statement is factually correct. We all know about the basics of the Indus River system, and Jhelum is the important tributary of the Indus River only, and it does pass through the Wooler Lake. We will see in the map also. Statement two says that the Krishna River directly feeds the Koleru Lake. Now here was the catch. UPSC has explicitly mentioned this word. We all know that Koleru Lake basically lies between two important river systems, that is Godavari as well as Krishna. However, Krishna does not directly feed it. Rather, the Koleru Lake is directly fed by two seasonal streams. Now, names of those seasonal streams are not very important, but the fact is that Krishna does not directly feed it. The third statement says that meandering of the Gandak River formed the Kaver Lake. Now, this lies in the state of Bihar. We all know in 2020 it was declared as a Ramsar site, and this is an example of residual Oxbow Lake also. And this Oxbow Lake is formed by the meandering of Gandak River. So this statement is also correct. Even if you look at these maps, what does this show? Basically, you can trace the river Jhelum over here. Now this is the Jhelum River. This is the Wooler Lake. Obviously, it is passing through this Wooler Lake. Correct. If you see here, this is the Koleru Lake. This is basically the Krishna River system. This one is Godavari River system, and Koleru basically is lying in between these two river systems, not directly fed by any of these Krishna or the Godavari rivers. And this is the Kaver Lake, the Oxbow Lake. Therefore, because two statements are correct and one is incorrect, and hence option B, that is only two, is the correct answer.